got a client that's local out here that popped into my store the other day and bought a Platinum Daytona. So I've come out here to meet him at his house and I'm gonna deliver that, chat a little bit about his next piece and then get back on the road. Hey Anthony, welcome. How are you, man? Come in, how are you? Doing good. Thank you for coming in. Thanks for having me out. Thank you. Oh, Please have a seat. How's y'all's how's day going? Oh, you know, it's good. I want to sit here so I can see my phone. Oh. Yeah, it's been a good trip, actually. I, I was going to meet you yesterday, but my, you know, I, I know how spread out LA is, but I always forget right. until I get here and I realize that. No matter where you go, it's a minimum of 30 minutes. It is. And it if you go, of course, I was doing it on Friday, so right. everything was with traffic. Definitely. Uh, but I did my business, my first session with my business coach yesterday, which was cool. And then I went out and met another, or uh, an individual that has the most insane watch collection that I've ever really? seen. Oh, yeah. Insane. I'll show you a couple pieces I picked up. But Ooh, look at this that. is your special from Dallas. Yes, appreciate um, that. I didn't want to carry a box with me, so actually, I didn't want to ship a box. They right. ship it separate. So when I get back to my office, I will ship you the box to that. But I have that. Should I open it? Take it out and look at it. Yeah, it's fully stickered and it's taped up on top of that. So that's okay. So you said you're just going to keep this yes, for, yes, for yes. investment. So take it out and look at it and then put it right back in there and keep it in your, uh, keep it in the safe. And the card, here, let me take this off so this doesn't get lost put this right here this is the most important part to this okay everything else can be replaced but that okay so that that is going to be your long-term value oh here this will be your eyes so right right at the top right there okay and be careful not to peel any of those stickers off because right. that's what's going to be all the value and this i mean oh it's all taped up yes yeah, okay but you can see it's got the barcode sticker right here. Yes. That barcode sticker of all stickers is the most important. Okay. Because they're supposed to pull all these things off. Also that white hang tag. Mm -hmm. Normally that is. Yeah. I'm not, but I'm look actually how, not. Look how beautiful that is. Oh my God. Looks. Look how beautiful that is. You zoom into that so you can see that. Yeah. Yes. That is. That's the watch. So that piece, it's October 30th, uh, 2020. In October 20 of 2021, exactly a year ago, you could have actually bought this watch at a discount. Really? Yeah, in the middle of COVID, you could have bought this watch. Actually, I'd say in October, prices were starting to creep up. Beginning of the year, hands down, you could have bought that watch at a discount. Wow. Retails like 80, 82,000, I believe, for the baguette dial. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you could have bought it for 75. Wow. And now they're 170 brand new full stickers. By February, March of next year, I see them maybe touching 200. When they discontinue it, that is without a doubt a 320 to 350 thousand dollar watch. Nice. That's what I want. And being fully stickered, untouched. Yeah. Oh, cool. that's exactly yeah, what I want. In a year, you'll double your money. Good. So that's the idea. Yeah. to get it started so definitely I appreciate that so I wish I had the discipline to do this one <laughs> so this is the most important thing is this card that card is the most important thing yeah. yes and what why is that well because that's got the it's got the serial number mm -hmm. the model number and the date so the serial number links that card to this so you know for for a lot of people that card is an it's an extra layer of authentication now right. while not having a card does not make this watch not authentic odds are if you've got the card and you've got everything that came with it you know it's not stolen right <clears throat> but also people when you talk about spending double retail on a watch and then in a year or so triple retail quadruple retail buying these watches without a card it's hard right yeah, they, they, they will still sell but when a piece like this gets when this gets discontinued well, let's just say right now, 
you paid 170 for this. This watch is worth 140 without that card. Wow. Yeah. One, one, one maybe 150 wow. without the card. That's a lot. That's a, that's a huge. Yeah. And you think it's a twenty thousand dollar gap right now. Mm -hmm. Every every year, year it'll be years. a forty thousand dollar gap. Mm -hmm. It continues so, to grow. Yeah. But the biggest thing is the authentication, and and people will pay a premium for the most complete sets. Right. right. So okay, that's very important to know. Check this out. Oh, yeah. I got this yesterday. We just bought that. Yeah. Yeah. Frosted AP Royal Oak. Oh my God. Forty-one millimeter frosted white gold. Jesus. Yeah. How cool is that? You feel the heaviness? Oh the yeah, weight? super heavy. I don't even want to know how much this is. Gosh. Uh, about two hundred and ten thousand. Yeah. Wow. Limited to two hundred pieces. So this, in a year or two, obviously the value is going to go way up. In a year or two. Just because it's only 200 pieces. So I just sold my uh, perpetual calendar. My, I had a rose gold perpetual calendar that I just sold for 250000 It was a limited edition of 100 pieces. Wow. Latin America edition. It'll be 170, 70 to 100 grand wow. higher in a year and a half, two years. Definitely. Limited stuff. Like if you're going to do collections you like this stuff. and put stuff away, or even buy stuff to wear, yes. buy limited. Limited edition, unique, six-figure pieces have the biggest upside because the, the market, the amount of people that can afford to actually buy these, it's very, very small. Right, right. So it's got a very limited market. But, right. then, but, but then, the values. But then being incredible. a limited piece on top of that, right. that's where it's at. And believe me, I did all my research before I came to see you. Yeah. I was actually looking to buy something in maybe $20,000 range for me right. for myself. Right. And I started watching all your videos, and then the videos you start talking about, the resale value of a watch, if you hold on to it, yeah. if you buy the right type of watch, what it could become. Mm -hmm. So that was like, I gotta make this trick. I well, it's, this trick. And, and it's when you buy, like there's there's great $20,000 pieces, there's $10,000 pieces, there's $30,000 pieces that trade over retail, they hot, they hold their value, they'll go up in value. But when you really step, step up to that, you gotta think of what uh, the top 1% can afford. And when you start playing in that ball game, yes. not only is it what they can afford, but when you get to the top one percent, they pay more. Yeah. They don't want to deal with the hassle. Right. Most of them don't want to. They don't want to do research. They're like, "Look, I like that. It looks cool. I'll take it. I keep seeing it going up yeah. in value every time I look on Google. The price is higher. I'll just buy it." Yes. And that that is also a factor that brings these prices up as high as they are. Right. Because when you think about the normal Daytona, prices are going to rise because there's the demand for it. But the people that are buying that, they do a lot more research right. on it. That's a, that's a very small part right. of it. That, it, it. But it does but it does help. When you get to stuff like this, I can I can almost put whatever price I want on it. Right. There's a couple for sale online for two fifteen, two twenty. So I'm asking two ten. But if there were none of these for sale online, I can I can ask what I can ask to whatever you want. Yeah. And someone somewhere there's gonna have so much money out there, they're gonna be like, Man, that's cool. I'll take it. I'll take it for two fifty. Yeah. And that person, when they go and impulse buy this at two fifty, they just establish the market for it. Exactly. And that just brought the price up another one of them. Every yeah. every other one. So yes. that's why I love these six figure pieces. Yes, believe me, I, I did my research, and you know, if, if you want to invest money, I was thinking about crypto and all that. But it, it's so volatile that you don't really know right. what's going on. So that's I definitely smart. said I want to do something that's smart. Worst case scenario. Let's give me. Let me give you. Worst case question. scenario in a year. Hold. It doesn't. I'll buy. I will. I will guarantee you. I, here's how confident I am. I, I, you have your lawyer draw up a contract that guarantees I buy that back for exactly what you paid in a year. Right. You have up to a year and I buy it back. Perfect. But it's not going to happen. I think it's the same time. But it's right there. Yes. 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 So, yes. so I appreciate you. You came into the store the other day. Uh, what's today? Saturday. You came in the store Thursday. Thursday. And I love deals like this. And this is why I shy away from the. And I hate to say it like this, but it is. It is easier to sell a six-figure, $150,000, $160,000, $170,000 watch than it is to sell a $10,000 watch. And this, I mean, he walked in. He wanted to spend up, up to 100 100 You talked to Alfred. Alfred's like, look, you can get this, this, and this, but... I told Alfred. We want to see the, right. the biggest long... What, what has the biggest long-term gain um, for a piece? And what am I going to spend? Right. 150 up. Right. And I told him, I said, no disrespect to you. But I, I want to see Anthony. I want to talk to Anthony because it's kind of funny I, you told right. him you wanted to see what I said. And I right. suggested and I was, without talking to right. Alfred. When he walked in, I was there with Alfred. You weren't there. 
He's like, he'll be back. He sent a meeting. I said, okay, I'll come back. So I came back and I was sitting there talking to him. And you walk in and he tells you, oh, this this guy wants to buy a watch. He's got a good budget. He was at a hundred, but he was he can push it up a little bit. And he said, what do you think? And he said, this is the watch. And yeah. exactly what he had said. So I was like, that, that's the watch. I mean, I have that yeah. watch. So I personally have one too. So yeah, that's, that's yeah. But you I bought it for what fifty thousand. Oh, I wish. No, I paid one twenty for mine. Okay. I paid one twenty back in February. Wow. So, yeah. So you imagine how? But before that, I had that was my second one. I had one before that that I paid. I think I paid ninety five for that before that. Sold it for one twenty. Then I bought my next one, the one that I have now. I bought for one twenty from my business partner Marco. Oh, definitely. And definitely. I'm just Lord, just holding it. Wow. Yeah. So I'll, I'll hold it for two years and I'll double my money. Definitely. That's what. I, that's the the game here. I'm gonna hold it. Sell in a couple of years, get something else. Nice. And keep keep that going. Oh, we're gonna so. keep adding stuff too. Oh, well, definitely. We are gonna the add next one's gotta be a perpetual calendar. Yes. And if he depending on what so? depending on what the I don't know. I, I, I don't know about those. It's just that I don't they're limited. Every perpetual calendar. Oh, look at this. So now they've seen this watch all over my story since I bought it in Vegas. But perpetual calendars lately, they have been really, really uh coming of age right. before here, I'll try and do that. the issue with perpetual calendars before was the price point entry level to get in these things starts over a hundred thousand dollars right right and when, and as the common buyer when you look at that compared to a royal oak aesthetically it's the same watch mm -hmm. except, except it's got three more dials that's how the common person looks at it. they don't right. think about what it can actually do right. how hard it is to make that how hard it is to um reset it you know if yeah. you if you overset it, you have to send it into the manufacturer. Wow. And it takes minimum six months to get it back because they have their watchmaker has to reset it. You know, <laughs> if you set it too forward, right. um, so a lot of people were just looking at these things as well. It looks just like my not this one, but my regular Royal Oak. Right. Why would I pay a hundred thousand right. dollars more? more. And, and they just didn't get it. So for a while, they kind of traded under retail. You could you could get discounts on perpetual calendars. Now people are starting to become more aware of complications right. and they're starting they're like look if i'm spending 50 60 70 80 thousand dollars a hundred thousand dollars on a watch i don't want just i don't want a hundred thousand dollar watch that tells the date right or just the time right. not even the date on some of them right. look at the nautilus 57 11 yeah. it only tells the date that's crazy. and the time yeah hundred and twenty thousand dollars hundred and thirty thousand wow. dollars so now people are like, well, if I'm going to spend that kind of money, I want a complication. Give me a moon phase, a power reserve, something, something yeah, perpetual something like that. calendars. Yes. And so now within a year, you've seen perpetual calendars across the board go over retail. IWC for all of all brands, great brand. You could buy IWC perpetual calendars for 45, 50% off. Wow. I just sold one last week uh, over retail. Jeez. Yeah. I saw when you bought this actually. That's why I was watching, uh, that's, I sent you a picture of a watch. That yeah. you bought there in Vegas, remember? Oh yeah, the, 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 the date just. I right. sold it to my buddy Ryan. And I said, "Do you still have that watch?" Because I, yeah. I saw it right after that, so I would have. Yeah, so I was in the casino gambling. I, I, oh, I saw. You, I did well. You so left. I was, in, I was in an impulse buying. I don't know how you. That was the you. only one at the show too. The I remember. only black ceramic AP at the show. So I was like, yeah. "That's a special." If you, you walk around two seventy four. Yes, if yeah. you walk around a whole show, and you only see one of that model. That tells you something. That tells you that's you know, so rare. Like, I, I overpaid for that watch. I think I could, if I hunted and shopped around, I could have probably found that for two fifty, two fifty five. Dealer cost, of course, it's not what a retail. Yeah, but I was gonna individual take you to is going to do that. Right. I could find that watch for two fifty and hold it. Mm -hmm. Still wouldn't sell it for less than two eighty because mm -hmm. that's what the market to a retail would be buyer is. Yeah. But I've already decided I like it so much, I'm not going to sell it. Right, because you're saying, oh, I'm going to sell my this watch just to make it up. Yeah, so that's pretty good. That's a beautiful watch. Yeah. And then my buddy at dinner last night had the uh, the skeleton version of this. Wow. That's my holy grail watch. Really? Yeah. Is this watch the perpetual calendar, but the skeleton dial? But how much is that? Half a mil? About five. I could buy it for. I could put, right now if I if I went and bought one a day, I could probably get it for four ninety. Wow. Maybe, maybe four eighty for sure. Four ninety, but it sells on the on the primary market for five thirty, five forty. See, that's the and thing. it's going to keep going up. That's that is the best watch AP makes. That's wonderful. And see, that's why I, I started as you know just shopping for a watch, and now I want to do this. So, guys, also, I mean, like I was saying a minute ago, this was such an easy transaction, smooth. Javier's had me out to his house now. It's yes, super convenient. 
and this is the type of deals I love doing. But you guys are ever out in, what city is it? It's in Orange County, yeah. Orange. There we go. Looking for a Toyota, or I think you do all cars. Any right? car, yeah, any, any car. car. Yeah, come see my boy Javier, tell him I sent you. There you go, get a discount. So, I'll put this in, uh, in my little title. So appreciate that, yeah. Here. Definitely appreciate right. you, man. Pleasure, man. Thank you, it was a pleasure. It was easy, and I love the, the transaction, and we're gonna do a lot of business. Perfect, that's what we like to hear.